Hoah! Hydelight. What a great name, Hydelight. Or is it Hyde? Hidlight, or maybe Hidlid, Hidlid. I don't strictly know which it is that you're supposed to say the name of Hidelight, although it sort of looks like Hyolioe, Hyolioe, on that title. But whatever on earth it's called, it's an old Nintendo RPG that's quite infamous, quite notorious from the NES days, a role playing game. And there it is. Just listen to its majesty, that tune that's playing there. The only tune that plays for the entire game, all 10 seconds of its glorious, glorious self. It's trying really hard to be the Indiana Jones theme, but it just doesn't quite have what it takes. It just doesn't quite have the guts to take on Steven Spielberg's super lawyers and steal the actual song, so they just made one that sounds similar enough that it's painfully obvious what they were going for. Hide the light. In 1989 this thing came out, in America anyway. By FCI and Pony Canyon, released by Pony Canyon, of all people. I don't know what on earth a bunch of ponies in a canyon have to do with anything. Maybe they made My Little Pony, maybe that's it. But if you're expecting to find Twilight Sparkle and Fluttershy and all of the happy friends here going on carefree adventures in 8-bit Nintendo land, then I don't know what on earth you were thinking, but no, you're not going to get that. Instead, you're going to get a big blue bat demon thing shooting a princess who doesn't seem to care at all and then she splits into three fairies. That's the plot. Very, very artistically portrayed to us. Nice and simple. That's all the story you need. Big bad blue thing makes the princess turn into three fairies. He split her soul in three somehow. Doesn't sound pleasant. Quite nasty. But that's what happened. And it's up to this, it's up to our hero who immediately started getting attacked the instant the game began. It's up to him <laughs> to save the day. Well, that was really a very bad way to start out your epic quest. Whatever on earth your name is. Callahandro seems like a good name, so we're not going to call him that. I've heard somewhere on the internet before that his name is Jim. And I'm not even making that up. Here he is. Doesn't he look like a... He looks like a true heroic hero person. He's got his stuff, his sword and his shield. He looks like he's ready for combat. But unfortunately, he's not ready for combat. But contrary to appearances, Jim is not ready for combat. Because if he tries to be ready for combat, he's going to swiftly end up being ready for nothing but the Grim Reaper himself. Actually, he's doing a surprisingly good job of, of not dying. But no, he stopped doing a good job. He's dead now. There he is, dead in the woods. And that's the end. So back to the start. Well, that adventuresome quest didn't last very long, so let's start again. Now what we actually have to do is that, because this is a very old RPG, it's very strange. It's, it's a, I call it a role-playing game, we've got experience. You'll see on the right-hand side of the screen we've got all those bars there. With life, the stir for strength, experience and magic. Oh, experience, well, you're thinking to yourself, that means you could, you could level up at least and get stronger. How bad can that be? Well... If we just attack that slime there by going into attack mode, which I'll explain shortly, you'll see that we got that that experience bar there is still empty. If we attack one more, you might notice it's not quite empty anymore. There is a tiny little, tediest, tiniest, slivery, witheriest sliver of yellowness at the far left of the experience bar. And that's, yep, up again. Two slimes and we got another tiny sliver. Literally the, a single pixel has gone up on that bar. You know, when they talk about saying, oh, there's one pixel of stuff in this game, people are usually exaggerating. There's usually like 12 pixels or something, but not in this game. I think there literally is exactly one pixel. That bar is increasing by one pixel every single time. So if you want to spend, uh, what, a good 10 minutes walking around here, slamming these slimes to get our experience up, then you've got to do that. Yeah, the experience has to go all the way to the far right of that bar over there to level us up. You see the, the white dots, the white lines up underneath the bar, they go away to the right. You'll notice that the blackness, the blackness of the experience bar goes further to the right though than those white bars. It's a bit more on the right, but that's an illusion. That that open, that open bit of blackness up there never fills, ever. Nothing happens with that at all. But in High Delight, our quest is to find the three fairies that the princess got turned into, and that is what Jim is trying to do. Unfortunately, he failed to do it yet again. 
wasn't paying attention to my health. This game is legendary. People hate it. It disgusts them. And I think a lot of the reason for that is because this thing came out in 1989. The NES had been out for four years in America at that point. But this game originally came out three years before that in Japan, when it was much more reasonable to have something as insanely basic as this. You might have noticed that we don't... And unlike Zelda, this kind of looks like Zelda on the surface, but unlike that, you don't stab your sword out to hit things, no. You just run into them. Just like Wise. If you've ever heard of the Wise series, the early Wise games were like that. Your hero just runs straight into the thing and just hopes that he kills it and it doesn't kill him. That's the plot here. We don't have much health, though. Anyway, we're in defend mode now, though. In the bottom right of the screen, there's the word defend. And if I hold down a button, it turns to attack. When you're in defend mode, you don't actually attack the enemies, but when you run into them, they won't hurt you any anywhere near as much as they would normally. But they will still hurt you, and I think they can still kill you, so don't do it. See, I, I had a full bar of health there, and that one slime almost killed me. Anyway, it's hard going. You've got to just be very careful. There's no way, about, no way of going about this game except pure patience. We're completely useless against anything except the slimes. And even the slimes were nearly useless against them. Mercifully, there is a save feature. A very confusing save feature that doesn't seem to actually work. And honestly, I don't understand. There's a password as well, you'll see. I think when you press the save button, it makes the password change to... It updates the password to reflect your current status, because we couldn't have just made the password update when you pressed the password option for some reason. That was just too advanced, I suppose. We have absolutely no items, and the only other thing we can... Oh, this game, which just takes us back to the game again. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way of putting it, but okay. We're going to change the speed to high speed. That's the only way to play hide a Well... I mean, you'll probably get slaughtered if you do this, but at least it speeds up the painful daily grind of grinding, which is exactly what I need to do. All I can really do right now is slam the slimes. Everything will destroy us except the slimes, and even the slimes, as I said, will nearly destroy us. Most people hate this sort of thing. I think that's why Hydelines despised so much, is because look at this. You've got no, you've just got to do this and hope you don't die until you get your experience bar all the way over to the side. But unfortunately, what Heidelide did not count on was dealing with Mr. X. Little did Heidelide know that this sort of thing is exactly my bread and butter. When I was a child, there was nothing I liked more than just walking backwards and forwards in games like this and just levelling up for no good reason. Until it was a million times stronger than I needed to be. That was how I did it. Now, to, for your health to go back up, you've got to stand still and wait for it to go back up. Which is what I'm doing. I like when, when your health goes down, it shows the the maximum health you could have. There's a little yellow line to show that, but your actual health is to the left of that. Kind of weird, really, but it's, I mean, it's nice. The thing I don't understand, though, is why they put that big... That little extra bit of black bar on the right-hand side of those bars. It's just so confusing. It's just very strange to me. I guess because of that purple brick wall motif they were going with. But I, I, I'd rather have just not... I'd rather they hadn't done that, I don't get it. Well, I can't go back in time and make them change it now. Not that they would. But, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, it's helpfully got the word Hydelide written down there. Just in case we couldn't tell. If you forgot what you were playing at some point. And, we've got a bunch of magic spells down there as well, which we don't have. We've got none of those. Absolutely none. I like the red thing over there. That's a kobold, according to the... a kobold. It's been, that's a kobold, according to the... the demonstration that was played earlier when I was watching this. It doesn't look much like anything. It looked like a stick coming out of the ground to me when I saw it. Better not get complacent. We're not even halfway to the next level. Look at Jim here. I mean, he's probably the most well-drawn thing in the whole game, though. Because, again, the, the kobold over there looks, looks more like a tree stump. These slimes just look like little blue squishies. Why are slimes always the 
easiest enemies in RPGs. Who, who started that? Who started that whole thing, huh? Slime. Why, why slime? Why little balls of glossom? Little squidgly widgly things. Just always the thing you start with. Oh, better be careful. Luckily, I'm in defense mode, so I didn't die. If I'd been in not defense mode, I would have died, and all of my precious progress would have been lost. Click on the save button, even though I know it does nothing. Now, unlike the Wise series, which came first, actually, I think Wise, maybe this came before Wise. I think that Hydelite here originally came out on a non Nintendo system. I think it maybe came out in like 1984. So yeah, so even this NES version, even when this came out in Japan in 1986, it was already pretty old. This might predate Wise and Dragon Warrior and all of those. One of the earliest RPGs. So when you know that, when you know that, it's not really... It's a bit more understandable really, isn't it? But this came out five years after that in America. And five years is a big difference, you know? Five years makes a difference. If, uh... If, I don't, if, if Luigi's Mansion, that's the game that springs to mind for some reason, if Luigi's Mansion had come out five years later, it wouldn't have graphically impressed people so much like it did. If Super Mario World, if Super Mario Brothers had come out five years later than it did, that would, it, no, it would have been laughed out of the ballpark, probably. We all, it, it gets praised as a, a classic now, but if it had come out later, nobody would care. That's the thing about these old games. They were quite impressive for the time, sure, but nobody bloomin' cares now. Well, no, but the only reason we care now is because it's in the, the museum. It's like Shakespeare. Nobody would care about Shakespeare if he hadn't been famous for centuries. You'd know it's true. Would you have chosen to read Romeo and Juliet at school? No, you wouldn't. Would you have chosen to read The Great Gatsby? Or the... Maybe you would have played the, Ga the Great Gatsby NES game. But that never got released, sadly. But for years. It was hidden until somebody discovered it on the internet. Yeah, and I am, in case you hadn't noticed, I am going to put all of this on the screen. You're getting to see all of this moving towards the first level. I am, I enjoy this. This is fun. Am I the only human being on the planet that likes this sort of thing? I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's really mundane and stuff, but I don't find anything wrong with this. It's a challenge. You've got to walk around and try and avoid dying. You've got to be careful. You've got to watch your health and that. It's not just completely tedious. You get the fun of seeing those the big experience bar going up. You feel like you're accomplishing something. Or at least you do right up until you die. Just when the thing was about to level you up. But well, what can you do? We're getting close. Yeah, Hydelide's just, a, I, I suspect, just a victim of circumstance. He doesn't deserve the reputation he does. Jim here... Well, I suppose he does. I suppose there was a lot of disappointed little children in the late 80s that picked this thing up expecting some fun, and they were insanely disappointed with what they saw. Because, I mean, in 1989, what could you be playing in the Nintendo, huh? What was there? There was tons of stuff. There was, uh... I believe the first Dragon Warrior had come out in the West by then, in fact. Super Mario Bros. 3, I think, was out by then, wasn't it? It was certainly close to it. Uh, Contra. Castlevania 3 probably was out already. There was quite a lot of stuff. And then you end up with this. It's a bit underwhelming. <laughs> Look at that, almost there. Just a couple more slimes. As long as I don't die. And presto, I did it. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't get killed, honestly, during that. But yeah, I made it. We are now on the second level. The stir has gone up by one. I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. I've done no research into this game. I remember seeing Play It Bogard reviewing it many years ago. People used to joke about this game on the early 2000s internet and text websites. My memories have faded, though. I don't remember. I remember I remember those sandworms down there that looked like slippers. I think Flying Omelette said that. They looked like <laughs> upside-down sandals, which they do. They do look exactly like that. But yes, we're level two now. We're, our life has doubled. Our stir has doubled. And the magic has doubled, I see. But we're not quite done yet, because I'm not comfortable. Well, maybe I... All right, let's, let's take a brave forage into the world at large, why don't we? 
I can't force you to be prisoners to me for the rest of your lives. Let's mosey on up, dogs, kiznanjas. What's in here? I see a hole there, but, but that took a lot of effort to get inside of there. What on earth? Oh, I had to press the attack button, that's why. It's a little weird, but okay. Now, let's see how bad these bats are. Oh, they're nothing. You twerps can't hurt me. They probably could have destroyed me if I was level 1, but they're going down remarkably easily now. The <laughs> Oh, they were. Great. Let's see what happens with the password screen. Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. So I need to re-enter the stupid password myself. It could have just memorised what your password was when you died. And just put that in. Error. Yeah. Well, what happens if we just try to start over, like I suspected? Yes, back to the default. Well, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And, well, I've written down the password this time. Yes, that's what I've done. So I think that what happened there is that the bat just happened to be... I was facing sideways. And he just d demolished me while I was facing to the side. So, Jim does... Yep, exactly like that. So I just need to be very careful not to be in attack mode when something's coming at me from the side. Which is fine. Ooh, it's a vampire, and he is after me. And there was something I remember about the vampire, is that he's completely undealable with Sturge. He's completely undealable with... Until you've... Picked up a certain thing that you need. So, we are getting ourselves out of here as soon as possible, I think. Yeesh, is he going to follow me up here? Yes, he apparently is. Yeah, so don't go in there. Right, well, the castle is off limits for... Hey, the castle is off limits for a while. But we're a bit better off. We're better now. We're level 2. Doesn't seem to count what level you are, but the bars have gone up. That's all that matters. What is a level if not just a shorthand way of saying your bars are better? Hey, you trying to escape from Jim? You'll never succeed. What's over here? Ah, there's a chest. We want to get that. Uh -huh. Yes, there we go. And there's another chest down there. But unfortunately, the roper dealt with us. Well, my exciting adventure is not really turning out quite so hot as I was hoping it would. Oh. Ah, there's the cross. That's what we need. Yeah, the cross. That was easy to find that. Not a very large world, though. It's not terribly hard to bump into the stuff that you want. I don't quite feel like going back in that cave yet, though, because those the bats were just destroying me. What's in there? What's in here? Get in there, hide light. I, I can't even see. Guess we need to light our way to go in that place. All right. No problem. Oh. Oh, I'm getting weak. Ugh. Got to keep an eye on your health. Too bad your health is away in the far right of the screen. When you're in the middle of... Like, if you want to look at your health, you've got to divert your eyes away from what's happening. And when you're doing that, that's when you die. Let's just stand here and heal. Oh my goodness, look how long this takes. Oh, and then... Yeah, then that comes up. Oh, uh, whoa. Okay, I'm starting to see why people get annoyed at this. But it's nothing that a lot of levelling up can't solve, I'm sure. Alright. Ah. Yeah, there's the cross there. You can't use it or anything, but it's there. Now, let's see how this goes. Ooh, ooh. Uh. Uh. Oh, what? Okay, so we can't actually hurt those things, it seems. They're just too much for, for Jim. Maybe from behind. What happens if we go from behind? Are they going to follow me? Yes, they are. A dead end. Great. Go for it. Failed. Let's try this again. Aha! Oh -ho! Ah, I guess I kind of tricked them out or something. Let's get out of here. Maybe we just got to whittle these guys down from over here. Yeah, can we destroy them all? Maybe we can just take them all out from here. Or did they respawn? They probably respawn, let's be honest. Well, it can't stop me from trying. No, you don't. 
You're not getting gin. Oh, they come out as well. Didn't expect them to come out of the, 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 the maze. I think we just need to be... We just need to be very careful in here. Not to get trapped like I just did. Got to get to that treasure chest on the other side of this thing. Alright, here we go. Here we don't go, actually. Go! Oh no, that's the dead end! Oh! Well, we figured out a little bit of how this. Will you cobbled? Please stop coming. I'm not making this any easier than it needs to be. Alright. And go! Well, we can... A pot. Alright, can we get out of here now? No, we can't! Ah! Oh, brother, we're nearly dead. Ah, so close that time. But not close enough. I'm not, I'm not settling for this. We're going to finish this stupid... We're going to get that pot if it takes me all minute. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That's not that bad. Once you know the path through here, it's just a matter of learning which way to go and picking these twerps off in the corners like this and getting completely dis unfairly blindsided like that. Okay, so maybe this game isn't completely fair. But at least... Did he just die automatically there? Why did, why'd you die then? There was a delay. I guess he just hadn't decided whether he was dead or not. The universe couldn't make up its mind. Oh, come on. Yes! I've made it out. Fantastic. And I only needed to level up once. Ugh. Now we just got to wait for a while to heal. Can he heal indoors? This chest. This this chest. I already chested. Can he heal inside of here? Let's see. It does not look like he can. No. No, he only heals outdoors. Okay. Now where are we? There is one thing that I remember about this game, is that one of the fairies is hidden inside of a tree or a rock or something. I bet one, I bet if that ball had hit me right there, I would have died. I bet anything. Now, uh, let's see what's up here. Well, at least the slimes are no match at... What on earth? What? What? <laughs> I don't want to touch that thing. It's going to be bad, let's be honest. Let's just be blunt about that. That's going to kill me. Are we reaching the, the edges? Like, I'm seeing a lot of boundaries. Oh, there's another hole there. Probably need a candle to light that, though. Just like the other ones. Yeah, I'm starting to sense that there's not there's not too much I can do, really. I got the pot, whatever on earth that does. And I got the cross. But I don't feel like messing with that Dracula until after I've gotten a little bit better. Just a little bit better. We might as well nearly in the end of getting another level up anyway. There's no harm in picking that up while we're roaming around here. As long as you don't die again. I've had more than enough death already. I think the co- It takes two hits to beat the slimes, but the cobbles just seem to take one. They're weaker. The, the cobbles are the weakest things? I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, it's ironic, because they're harder to hunt down. They run away from you. They're running all over the place. Well, I'm just, I just noticed I almost died. It didn't look like they were hitting me, because when, hit, when they hit Jim, a little red square appears around them. There's a red square when you damage something, or they damage you. And I wasn't seeing those cobbles doing it to Jim, but I guess they are. It's an illusion. We're almost there. There. I love how there's no sound or anything when you level up. 
It's just the twenty second India the twenty second not Indiana Jones theme instead. That's your lot, but yeah, we're in excellent shape now. I don't think we're even getting any experience in these things now. Oh, this is one of those games, huh? When enemies stop giving you experience. Yeah. Yeah, the slimes are useless to me now. Well, it's time to go back into this castle, I think. And see if that cross does the jaws. Oh, the slime still hurts me. I just got to wait and level up. I mean, heal up. <sighs> These slimes don't really want that to happen, though. The longer your health bar becomes, the longer you've got to wait for it to refill again. And I don't know what stir represents. I guess your strength. It doesn't seem to affect your defense. I think these slimes are still walloping us as hard as they did originally. But we're ready for this. Okay, let's... The bats should be much less of a problem now. Yeah. Well, it's like the... Like those blue things in the maze. Just don't... Don't be in attack mode when they're coming at you from the side. That's the trick. Now the vampire. Let's see how he goes. With the cross, we should be fine. Yeah, there he is. Wow, that was easy. Just hit him from behind. Get a lamp. Well, yes, that, that's exactly what we needed to light up the caverns. Brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, squillion. So, unlike a lot of RPGs, I'm impressed by Hydelide to some extent. It's doing stuff that you didn't tend to see back in these days. It's got the monsters give you less experience the more you level up. These slimes don't give you anything now. That's pretty, pretty advanced concept for 1984. I remind you, that's when this came out, originally. Don't know if this came out in Europe, though. I mean, there's a lot of games I never had. So I, but I don't know whether or not we had them or not. Okay, now we can find a, a cave to go in. That is now safe to do. Ah. Better bump into all the trees as well, because there's at least one of them. Oh, there's something there. We want that. If we don't die for it. Which we, we did. He couldn't open the thing, what gives? He wouldn't open it. I found out the hard way that yes indeed, when you die, if you hadn't pressed the save button, despite the existence of the password system, despite then if you hadn't pressed save, you wouldn't be able to load back again. So that's good to know. But if you do press save, you can load to return to where you were. Now, that chest then there that doesn't seem to open. Nope, it definitely does not open. That's alright, we can return to that some other time. Since I've got the candle, I can just go somewhere else. Such as here. Well, I can after I've healed though, which is not going to be easy. There we go. This is the starting screen, isn't it? Nice and familiar. Come on, health. Tickety too. Tickety boo, health. Life. Or whatever word you want to use. Come on. There. In here. And yeah, it lights up in the to glow. What an F. Wisps? Alright, wisps. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm not liking the looks of these, these twerps. But I didn't... A sword? Is that an upgrade? <laughs> didn't really get to find out there. Okay. And again. Just like the tiddly tubbies. Now forget fighting them. You really don't want to have to attack stuff in the dungeons. The less you have to get hurt in here, the better, because you can't heal till you get back outdoors again. Which I just did. And I'm going to make sure I do heal as soon as... Oh, you can't heal in the trees, I think? I don't think he can heal himself in the forest. But at least now he's got the, the sword, which... Which I assume... Makes his attack better. No equipment screen or anything like that in this, it's far too basic for that, but... It clearly did something good. Right, well, good. It's nice to be able to scratch a hole off the list. That hole is well and truly scratched. Uh, now what? Well, there was a, what is that thing? I'm sure it's going to kill us if I touch it. <laughs> yes, it did. Wanted to see, though. Well, stay away from the rock. I'm sure there's a way to destroy it, but we don't have it yet. Now, in here, I think this might be the only way we can go. 
This is unfortunate because we just got wrecked in one fell slip there. Got to come back out here and heal. Alright, don't attack the skeletons, good advice. Is there anything over here? Hmm. No, I think we've explored all of this. There must be a key to open that chest in the cemetery. You'd think so. What was that? Oh, it's the, the balls from the wizards, that's right. Okay. Alright, well. I see the exit. I'm going to head for the exit. I got to the exit. I'm really quite surprised. Legitimately surprised. Right. The sandworms will probably kill me. Let's get... They, they killed me. How do we get into the castle there? There, that's how. What's in here? What? <laughs> oh, it takes us into the waterway. Interesting. Okay, well, we can... What? Why did he wreck me? I was doing fine against these worms a second ago, but then that one just blasted me. Why is his health going down? Has he been poisoned? Is there poison? Don't touch the worms, then. Well, that's the way into the water. He is. His health's going down. Look at that. What? Why? It's going back up here. I guess that the sand drains your energy. What's in this? Ooh. Oh, what, is this a trap? Why is there so much nice stuff? That's weird. Four of those chests just did nothing. That's very weird, honestly. Well, okay. Is it random, maybe? Well, it's the first one again. Something tells me we want to get all of these, though. It's got that feeling. Ha-ha! I'm inclined to hang around and fight them, but it's risky. What? No! I didn't want to go back in. Well, yeah, you don't want to fight stuff in the dungeons because you don't heal in there. Well, out we go. There, that's killed one of them. Well, you know what? We don't need to be out here any- Brrr. We've got the- We've got the key. We have the key. That's what we came here for. That- Probably that key will do something in the cemetery. Maybe there's equipment. Maybe there's shields and armor. Maybe I'll get something that will help in the cemetery. It's possible. So let's just go back there if possible. Oh, but we've got to go through this. Oh. And we can't heal in here. Can we heal in the water? Nope. His health's going down in the water. And then, well, look how strong that eel is. I think we're not supposed to be here. We got the key. Yeah, let's just let's just go back. The water's way too bad. Let's just go back. Oh, wait, no, that's the... Wait. What is this? Yeah, that's the way to the water. What's at the bottom of this, though? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. We do not want to go in the water. We probably need something to survive in there. Something we don't have. So I'll just have to try and make my way through here without getting destroyed, which I just did. I didn't get completely destroyed. Oh, that's a, a dead end, though. No, oh, he nearly made it. Ladium. Ladium, that thing's name is. Okay. Yeah, it's clear view to the exit. Well, let's try the key out on the, the cemetery. Now first, let's see how these blue things are. Maybe I can level up off of them. Yes, I, I think I can. Yeah, they're much safer to deal with now. And I can just hang around here and wait for them to come to me. Marvellous. Think of everything. It's not true, they don't really think of much at all. 
But they thought of this. Well, I thought of this. Yeah. It's quite nice how you got to use a strategy and try and try and like try and get them when they're coming through a corridor, pick them off at the side like this, or follow from behind them and hit them there. That's quite nice. It's too bad that because they just randomly appear at the side of the screen, they might just shaft you anyway. You might be powerless to stop them from killing you. But at least it's something. You take what you can get in these ancient games. It's weird in these old games, when they added something like that, like a strategy like that. In a modern game, if, if you had to use strategy to sneak up behind things and destroy them that way, then they'd make it very clear that's what you had to do. And if you did, if you did that, then everything would go well. But in these old ancient games, for some reason, they always had to throw in an element of chance. Like, they give you that, like, they, they give you this challenge where you got to sneak up behind them and pick them off. But then they also make them randomly just appear and kill you, even if you do that. Like, it, there's always got to be something else that makes it harder. There's always some randomness that you just can't... you can't stop it. It's just never simple. Yeah, that's the strange thing. These old games, paradoxically, paradoxically these old games are more complicated than modern ones. Figure that out. Oh, stuff this. Let's go back to the graveyard again. At least there is a place to get levels now. Although they might stop giving me experience by the next level. Okay, yeah, the, that brown land hurts us, so stay off of that where possible. And off we go. I get a jewel. What's over? What's over there? Well, okay, I got a jewel. Whatever that does. Nothing there. Phew, sheesh. Now what? Well, we know the next place we need to be going is over there. But I don't think that Jim quite has what it takes yet to do that. So I am going to get my levels off of these blue-purple things. I wish I knew what these items do. <laughs> What's the jewel do? I'll find up. I'll, I'll find up. I'll find out. That was weird, that cave with the four chests. But the first one that's in there has the key. You don't even have to walk five steps in. What was that all about? I've got a feeling that was random chance. Again, probably one of the, the chests, one of those chests randomly has it. It's my guess. I do like how this is high speed mode. This is high speed mode. Can you imagine if this was the normal speed right now? I mean, this is, the, for comparison, this is normal speed. This is normal. It's actually not that much slower than the fast speed, but it's it's like half the speed. Easily half of this. Well, this is one of those games where, technically, the game doesn't really stop you from going where you want and doing things. Like, I mean, there is a there is a, an order of progress. Like, you get the... First of all, you get the cross from that place, then you go back and kill the vampire with it, and then you can light up the caves to carry on. But in theory, you could walk into those black caves and just bumble your way through to the exit. It's not impossible. They didn't tend to put limits on you in these old games. Same with Dragon Warrior 1. You could you could go anywhere in theory. Well, not quite anywhere. There's puzzles and stuff, but... By and large, the world's your oyster if you're willing to level up for hours and hours and hours to be able to survive it, which the game forces you to do most of the time anyway. I've got to say, though, there's quite a lot of forced levelling up in this, but compared to Dragon Quar Dragon Quarst... Dragon Quarrier. 
the first Dragon Quest game. Compared to that, this is this is tame. <laughs> this is baby stuff. Believe me. You literally will be spending hours and hours just fighting things to level up in that game. It's not an exaggeration. Right, well, we've made it to the next level. Well, we've got the pearl. What do we want to do? Well, these things still give some experience, so I'm inclined to keep going against them. Yeah, I'm going to be back once I've gotten another level off of them. That's how you've got to do things in this game. I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to regret it if I don't do this now. Alright, we're basically there. And I discovered something else while I was fiddling about with this too. I accidentally pressed the B button and looked down at the bottom of the screen. Look at that. See the text down there, lighting up? Turn fire ice? What does that mean? Well, I don't know if it's because we picked up the pearl, or maybe it's those items that give us access to these. But we can cast magic now. If I uh, hold down the A and B buttons at the same time, I discovered this by accident. We shoot that, and the screen, everything freezes, and he shoots his little ball, and if you look at our magic meter, we've lost all of our magic. It cost everything to shoot that ice ball. It did kill the octopus, though. Now, just let's get the last bit of this level up. I came back before I got the level up, because if you're anything like me, you want to see... You want to see him get stronger there. It happened, he's stronger. That's that. Now, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this mad place. So now, now we're well equipped. We can shoot fire. What's this? Let's take out. Let's let's take out this row of trees. Hey, <laughs> aye. What's this? Oh, it's just another big tree there. Well, he's probably a match for these skelly wellies now. We've gained two levels since the last time we were here. And the skelly wellies are wrecking me. So, but they're not wrecking me as bad as they would have been wrecking me if I had not levelled up like I did. I notice as well, look at the stir bar. The stir bar is a little bit bigger than the life bar above it, see that? Normally they're in tandem. It must be that sword we picked up earlier. The sword gave us a little bit more stir. That's all our stats. There's no numbers, there's no attack of 55 and defense of 3 and so on. It's just those bars, just life and stir and magic. Nice and simple. Very simple indeed. Now, I don't need to even worry about going in here because I'm sure that we're going to be more than a match for everything here. Except we're actually perhaps not, so let's get out quick. <laughs> I saw that. I saw a treasure chest appear. Oh, we got to get to safety now. Yeah, that's safety. I don't know about you, but I saw a treasure chest appear in that in our cave. I'm going to go back and have a look at that. Oh. Assuming it's still here, maybe there's random items? Definitely something appeared in here. Maybe it was only after I destroyed the skeletons. There was definitely something. I know I saw something. I know it. Let's just try retracing our steps, see what happened. What did I do the first time that made this work so nicely? Did I just see a skeleton spawn in, maybe? No, I think I saw something just appear suddenly. Yeah, there. Ring. Oh, look, that gives us the wave spell. What does that do? We don't even have enough magic to find out, apparently. At least the magic lets us do that, yes. I slammed her in one. We don't even have enough for two fireballs in a row. But you'll see the fireball still took a lot less magic than the ice did. Well, you know, it comes in handy. Maybe we can burn these trees. Maybe we can't do that. Nope. They don't seem to be vulnerable. You can't hurt those things at all, it looks like, the moving objects. Now, what was down here again? Something nasty. Ah, the key was in here, that's right. You know, I didn't check it the... Wait, no, that's how we... Hang on, no. What is this? No, we didn't. I was thinking that we'd crossed over from the other side of there to get here, but that's not true. No, this is something else. I think this is where we got the key before, and I think that... I didn't notice this when we were here the first time, because I was too busy <laughs> running for my life. Oh, like that. 
but there is more stuff at the top of the screen here. Yeah, yeah, there's more. I never saw those before. More fake chests. Probably one of them's real, though. Where's the f where's where's the fire? There's the fire. Got to time this right. Yeah, I timed it well. Good. There's got to be something in that chest down there, surely. No. No, there was really just one of these. Well, if the if the first cave was anything to go by, if you defeat a certain number of skeletons, a chest might appear. I doubt that happens here. Let's go here. And we are in this maze place again? I didn't think I'd be coming back here. Alright, the octopus has given me no experience. Was that hole always there? I guess it was. Well, that's a way to get back here, if you need to. Which you don't, but it, is, it exists. I don't know what the, the turn spell does there. It doesn't seem to do anything. Unless it causes that... this tree... I see there's a, there's a tree somewhere that the, the, the princess is. Maybe it does something to that. Maybe? I don't know. Oh right, the bad rock, yes. Alright, well I think that we need to finally start making our way around here. Now what was in this castle down here again? Ah, just the way to the water. Okay. I think we finally have to go here now, which isn't good, because let's just see if we can find a way out of here, because our health is going down as long as I'm in this. Must be a, an exit somewhere. Yes, there is. Unfortunately, that eel was preventing us from using it. down here. Stay away from the eels. Oh, I said stay away from the eels. He stays there. It remembers he was there. It's nasty. Now, does this world loop around? I think it does. We've looped around back where we were before. That's, yeah, it's a pretty small world. Oh, look over there. That dragon looks nasty. At least we've made it to somewhere new. Now we've got to be careful. What are these things? The wizards are very strong, I see. And yep. We're in no state to be contended with them, clearly. Hyper. Hmm. Let's see what we can find. Did my life plummet down? Whoa! Uh... Looks like there's nothing here but these wizards. Yeah, that's it. But you know, I think I remember something about them. You have to... I do remember something. You have to beat both of them in one attack to get something nice. Well, there was nothing to be found here at the moment. Now I've got to try and survive getting back somewhere that I want to be. Right. Let's go. Oh, whoa, there's the draggy. Stay away from that. No. Uh, yeah, we've looped round. Yeah, man, this world is tiny. Yeah, we've been, we've seen all these places. Okay, so there's only one place to go in the waterworks. And it's where we just went. Now I've got to find my way back to where we want to go. I think we've, we've explored most of the world, I think. Unless there's some place I've not been yet. Now, how do I get back... How do I get back to the... this... Ugh. No. It's got to be a... Well, I know there was a... I know there was another entrance to that... this waterway. It's... Right, yeah, it's up here. That's it. There it is. Let's get back to land. A sip? No. Okay, well... What's to be done now? What? What the? Why did that wreck me so much? What, what did that worm do? 
But sometimes they don't hurt, but sometimes they pack a massive punch. Like that right there. I guess just don't approach them from the front, no matter what. Or they will clobber you. <laughs> Mercilessly. They do give experience, I see. <laughs> if you've counted, it takes maybe... It takes, what, 20 seconds for me to fully heal now. Hmm, what to do? Where? Hmm. You know, that graveyard is suspicious. I think there's something in the graveyard. I'm going to go back through this place again. Ignoring all the fake chests. I said I'm going to ignore them, but I'm not going to ignore them actually, because I'm suspicious. That didn't go so well. Right, well, what am I going to do? I'm going over to the graveyard and see if I could level up there. I'm going to toddle over to that yard of graves. Yeah, that's, that tree is suspicious. No, it wasn't good enough. I don't know what turn does. Seriously. Okay, now the skeleton's here. I think I destroyed that one. Are they giving me experience? So that's the question. Is he? I can't tell. Don't think it is. Oh no, they are. They are. Just very slow. So I'll be back once I've gotten what I want from them. Right. Oh, wrong. I pushed the wrong button again. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our level off of them. Ah, there. Good. I bet we've got enough magic for Wave now. Yeah, there it is. That's Wave. Oh. Yeah, it hits an enemy and it keeps going. I like how the whole screen freezes when you use these spells, that's nice. You know what, I must I probably had access to the fire spell earlier. If I'd known that, I probably could have made strategic use of that to help me with the mazes. I didn't know it, so I didn't. Hey, wait, what are you doing here? I don't remember these guys popping up on this screen before, and they give experience. Well, I think I've just found out what I'm gonna level up on next. Jolly good. Also, ah, I knew it was <clears throat> wasps. Help my boob, Jinx, woo! Well, there we are, I found one of the three fairies. Does that show up on our item? There it is. Fantastic, I knew it was in a random tree, and it was that one. Brother, these, these, these ghost things are filtering in now from later in the game. Now that I've reached whatever screen they were on, they're, they're, they're crossing over into the the first screens of the game. That's very mean. But I mean, well it's not so mean because actually I'm kind of grateful because I can take these guys out here and get experience from it. <laughs> if they don't kill me. Well, I'm going to get my next level off of them and then I'll be back. Do you know something? I've got an idea. I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm going to try using the wave spell on those two and see if I can kill them both at once from here. They've got to both get lined up in the right row, which was not that. So let's try it again, <laughs> after we get our magic back. Yeah, if you beat one of them, then it just reappears again. But while, the, while the magic's returning, I can take take out these ghosts that happen to pop up here. The Hypers, as they're called. There's a Hyper. Not Hyper anymore, he's Hyper Dead. Hyper Dead, that's what he is. Ooh. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, that, now we've got enough magic for one more attempt at this. It's not the easiest thing in the world, though. They're not that agreeable when it comes to lining themselves up for me. For some reason, they don't want to. Ooh. 
They don't want to line themselves in a neat ducks in a row fashion for me to shoot with wall of wave. Ugh. Okay. We'll cave. Let's see if we can beat them with the wave. Oh, I had a chance there. I blew it. I duffed that. Shot. And again. These hypers are distracting me. I'm sure this is what you got to do. Oh, goodness knows how you'd figure this out, though, if you didn't know you had to do this. Ah, oh, it's not going to reach them. No, it's not. At least I'm getting experience from this, though. I'm having fun. Ah. I mean, I, don't, I doubt the enclosed instruction book gave you hints for this, and there's no hints in the game. You can't talk to anybody. You can't read any signs. No hints what you're supposed to do. Oh, they were really well lined up for a second there. I've got to reselect the wave spell. Okay. <laughs> oh! Aha! Yeah, that's right, that's what you had to do to get the third fairy. Heaven knows what you were supposed to do to, um, to figure that out. I mean, seriously, I, I guess the fact that one of them comes back, if you only kill one, it immediately reappears. That's your only hint. That was what you had to work with back then. In those days, when you when you were spending hours and days and weeks trying to beat an old game, you'd, you'd just end up resorting to absolutely everything. I think that's what the idea was behind that. They just want you to just desperately keep trying to think of what you can. Try every last desperate thing you can think of to pad out the poxy little game. If, if you took out the forced level up, level upping and the insanely obscure puzzles like that, the two wizards you got to kill in a row, and the tree you got to bump into to get the fairies. If they took that out, this game would be half an hour long. So I understand, I understand. I understand why they made these old games so really obscurely hard. I get it. Oh, I wrecked me in one. And again, I'm front again, I'm front again, back again, returned for all of it again. Just about. I actually got. I'm done. I've done you a good service. I've actually gotten two level ups. I got a whole level up, and now I'm going to get my second one. On this excellent place for doing so. These these goblins here are incredibly powerful. They'll kill you in two hits from the front, but if you attack them from the back, you kill them in one hit and get a lot of experience. This is where I've been. Yeah, look at that. They seem to kill you in two hits. I think it's not pleasant, but I did get one new spell. Though I'll show off. Why not? The flash spell, watch this. It just kills everything on the screen. You don't get any experience for it though. But it does kill everything. So if you're in really dire straits and you've managed to press you manage to select the flash spell by pressing the B button five times and then cast it by holding down both buttons. If you manage to do that before you die, somehow, then everything on the screen goes away and then almost immediately gets replaced with another batch of enemies, because that's how this game works. The enemies never stop coming. It's like a, it's like an RPG player's dream. An RPG grinder's dream. You don't have to travel to level up. Just The enemies just never stop coming. This game is... I'm uh, nearly max level. Yeah, there we are. I think there's two more levels worth of, of levels to go, going by the, the bars on the right. There's two white notches left for us to get in the life up there. So, we're nearly maximum level already. Oh, do these things still give experience? Yes, they do. Well, I guess I'll get another level up, then I'll be back when I've got that. I've noticed some things from all this. First of all, killing things with magic doesn't give you any experience, so don't even bother. But look at this, the fire spell doesn't go through the wall. Whereas the ice spell, if I wait for however long it takes to recover it, Which is not done yet. Oh, there it is. Uh, ice. Ice does go through the wall. Huh? Did I cast turn by mistake? I guess instead of pressing A and B at the same time, I must have slightly mistimed it. There we go. Ice goes through the wall. Fire, ice, and wave. So that's the two levels of magic. The, the magic spells take up so much magic points to cast, though. It costs so much to use them that they're not really that much use. They're really for emergencies. You'd better time them right. 
I mean, if you were playing the game at the normal speed setting, you maybe would have some time to react to stuff, but at fast speed it's a bit hard. The fast speed was probably meant for grinding. You were probably supposed to use fast speed to level up, walk around and just kill stuff to level, and then go back to normal speed when you want to take your time. That's what a sensible person would do. I'm not doing that. Let's fight the very dangerous goblins. I'm pretty confident you don't have a defense status. There's no defense, there's just your health bar. The slimes take out just as much health at the end of the game as they did at the start. Or maybe I missed a magic shield to help with that. Well, if I did miss it, I'll probably need to find it. Because this game is, you know, insane. I mean, there's space for three more normal items. I don't know what half of these items even do. The ring, the pearl. I think you just get the magic spells from leveling up. So, I don't know. I don't know what most of these items do. But I don't need to know. All I need to know is that I'm about to levels. I'm about to levels. Oh, levels. Oh, come on. Yep, yep. One more hit. One more how to do it. One more attack. One more kill. There we go. That's that. Good. I'm guessing these guys aren't going to give me any more experience now. Look at that, our strength is maximum now. Yeah, the ghosts have stopped experiencing me. They've had enough of having experiences with, with Jim. What does the Hydalide mean? What do you think Hydalide is? It's not, it's not the hero, but maybe it's the world he's in. The very small world, the incredibly small world that Jim lives in, is about 20 screens in total. I mean, seriously, you could probably go around and count the screens. We've seen the whole world. There really are about maybe 20 something screens. And it loops around, so you know this is the whole globe. There's no human beings in the face of the earth. There's just monsters and three fairies, which are a princess, and there was a dragon. And speaking of dragons, that dragon is the thing we're going to go and find right now. What? You get a shield? Did you see that? Look! You get a shield. What? Oh yeah, great, I find that now at the end of the game. <laughs> well, better, let's get, get out of here and save before uh, before I lose that. There. Rats, well that... Whoa! That still did... That, that worm, even now, after all of this, that worm almost killed me. So I'm questioning the use of this shield, but... Well, we did... That, it has to be good for something, huh? Well... That makes me, makes me wonder what other stuff I've missed. Hmm. This place was always suspicious to me. Oh, I, not, I noticed we're healing inside the dungeons. I'm sure that wasn't happening before. We're also healing while I walk as well. I heal when I walk. I think maybe some of those items have done those things for us. Without me realising it, the items allowed me to heal in temples. Whatever these things are, these extremely basic dungeons. There's just two screens. Now, I wonder if... It looks like killing skeletons in that other dungeon got me the item, so maybe the same thing applies here. Or it gets me dead. No, I, I might be missing some items, but... The shield is really not... It doesn't seem to be helping terribly much. I don't know, I'm inclined to just start heading for the end. Nothing is giving me experience anymore. This might be the maximum possible level. Even though there's enough for the more there's enough for one more bit of life in that bar up there. The strength is capped. The magic isn't. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see if we can get to that dragon. Wherever he was. There was that piece of land that I was able to get on board the land. There it is, there. I took out that eel that time. No experience, though. There's the dragon. Now, how do we deal with that thing? Better question is, how do we get on that island over there? There must be a way on that. It's probably something to do with this. This this, this whole section here, there's got to be a reason this t exists. But, but what? What does the turn spell do? It doesn't... It just... It makes the enemies turn around. 
but you can't move. Um, you know, maybe in, maybe in those mazes earlier in the game when there was stuff following me down those really tight corridors, maybe you were supposed to use turn to get out of some sticky wickets. Does the flash spell do anything here? Nope. Hmm. What do I do with you, Mr. Dragon? Do I have to use the flash spell on you? Let's try it. Did that hurt him at all? I don't think it did. I love how he walks into the water. Um. Hmm. What about the wave spell? If we can even use it. I didn't mean to cast turn. Why do I keep doing this? There. Have that. Oh, it kept hitting him. Didn't do any damage, though. Hmm. There must be a way on that island. Oh, his fire does hurt me. I thought maybe the fire was just a... just a... for show, but no. It actually does cause problems. It was not for show. Let's try the ice spell. Ice will be good against the dragon, right? Nope. Like, that dragon is just immune to everything. <laughs> the eel still kills me. Yeah, I can kill the eel, but again, there's no experience for doing so. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot I lose. I'm running out of health in the water, haven't I? Get onto the land, Jim. There. <sighs> what do I do? What am I supposed to do now? I'm stuck. This is the first time in the whole game and I've felt stuck. There's got to be something. I just don't know what it is, so I'll be back when I do know what it is. Well, remember how... Remember how one of the fairies was in a tree? Well, one of the fairies is in another tree. I don't know how you were supposed to fight this. Con considering these trees are evil, I don't know who would have tried this. But, if I can just do this correctly... Which one is it? No, I don't know how you were supposed to figure this out. One of the trees doesn't hurt you. And that tree has the fairy. Yeah, that one. <laughs> They're all moving, but one of the fairy one of the trees doesn't move. And it's well I mean it does move, but it doesn't hurt you. It's that one, right? Fairies. Fairies all saved. I didn't expect this. The fairies are carrying me away. Wonders never cease in the world of Hydalide now. We're on this island again, and it looks like there's no way off of it for that matter. This, we're stuck here, so I'd better be... I'd better not save and overwrite all of the progress, just in case I need something or something like that. I wouldn't put it past this game to expect you to have an item by the time you got here that you might not have. Wow, I'm getting wrecked. All I want to do is recover my health, ghosts, but you're just not letting me do it. Throw me a bone. Ah, fine. Let's die to the dragon already. Sheesh. Okay, well. Let's kill the dragon. Let's be killed by the dragon. It's all the same. What do I have to do? Not that, clearly. What have I doing wrong? We already tried already tried all the magic spells. Maybe I just got to go inside the castle. I can't even attack him from behind. Let's try going in. Nope. Can't do that. So what? He kills me in one hit. I mean, I would have guessed there's something behind him that I've got to do. 
but I don't see anything. Did I ever... Oh well, you know what? Fire doesn't go through the walls, so let's try casting fire on him. <laughs> if we don't die. I was ne I never used fire on him. Is that it? Is that his weakness? The fire spell? That would be pretty ironic if it was, but it's clearly not. Hold down A and then press attack. That's how you use a magic spell. It's the first time I discovered this. Turn! Did nothing. Let's put some ice on the subject. I think I'm missing an important item. Whatever on earth it is. And I can't do anything about this dragon till I've got it. Well, I figured it out. You probably won't... You won't believe it. Well, you will believe it, because you're going to see it. You've got to cast fire on this. Oh wait, yeah, I've got to hold down attack to go down it. And there, that's the entrance to the castle. There. Right, we're in. And we're dead. <laughs> black arm. I thought that said black man. Black arm, I think. Yeah, black arm. What fun. <laughs> I'll hold down attack. Okay, now let's let's not get killed immediately this time. Oh, they're much more charitable with the enemy appearances this time. Whoa, how much how much damage did he do? Can we get experience in here? Doesn't look like a pleasant place to do so, but can we do it? Doesn't appear to be. Doesn't look like it. No, they're not giving me experience. Now, what am I supposed to do? Ah, skeleton. I got killed by a skeleton. Whoop down. You can't shoot it from down here. You have to get up and personal in its face. There. There's, there's enough, there's room for another dot of health on our health bar. You'd think you could get another level up, but it doesn't look like you can. I mean, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just assuming this is goodness down here. Obviously, I want... The grave is broken. Okay. Yeah, it's, it sure is. And so am I. Yum that I'm scuttling along like a little skittly whittly spider. Scuttling about at fast speed. Almost half our health dead. If that shield did a thing, I've not noticed the difference. I still don't know what it does, but I've got to do it. Can we get out of here? No. Ooh, ah, ugh. what's these little dots in the middle of this map? I like the dots. Haroo, yes. And haroo. Ooh, almost dead, but not dead. Oh, no. Well, that's alright. I've got a contingency for you, blogs. That's right. You can start all the internet uh, type in text websites that you want. You still can't beat me. Internet typing text websites, you know, internet diaries, that's what blogs are. Internet diaries, basically. The equivalent of the teenage girl's dear diary book, where they write all their grievances. Although the blogs are usually a bit less, a bit less formal than those. Now, it appears as though we've dried up the, uh, we have dried up the lake. That's what happened after we... After we uh, broke that grave, we must have broken the, the dam floodgates somehow. That grave was keeping all this water intact. Now the water's all poured out to some other place. Maybe we can kill the dragon now. Oh, oh yes we can, look at that. We made a big dent in his health bar, look at that down there. Dot bottom right, dragon, almost dead, good. Almost deaden. Heidelide, more like Heidel dead. Oh, and we're the ones that are Heidel dead. Ah, uh, maybe the magic spells will work. Maybe not. Looking like not. What about the wave spell? Maybe if I try to take in the dragon from behind. You might like that. No? Maybe if I try taking the dragon from behind. Well, I survived. 
So now I'm just going to wait for my health to come back and then do it again. <laughs> Look at Jimmy, so excited. Well, you're going to have to contain your excitement, Jim. It's like Christmas morning. It's 4 a.m. and Jim just wants to get up and open his presents, but his parents are boring. And they're in bed and tired because that's what parents are at Christmas Day. And there is life's back. Da! You get a medicine. Alright, medicine without an E in the end, according to the right. Well, that's, that's good. I got the medicine, yep. But how do we get out of here? Ah, oh, the entrance, the escape opened up. I assume that medicine heals us if we lose all our health. But in a game like this, that's the sort of thing that they wouldn't give you unless you absolutely need it. You probably have to use that medicine to finish the game. They wouldn't give you a healing. They wouldn't give you a healing item at the very end of the game. And look at that little bit of experience it gave us as well. What's this? A ruby. I don't know what that does, but we've got every item it appears. Oh, both of the item rules are full. But now what? Now what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Uh, well, let's find our way back to wherever the sandworms were. I think that's where we want to go. Here we are, that. There we go, back on land. Good. Worms still wreck me. They've never stopped wrecking me. I have not found anything that looks like it's worthwhile. So I'm going to go back to the castle and see... See if something's changed in there. If I find it, there it is. A little diddly slime. Let's wait for our health to come back first. I think we might be heading in for the final battle, so I've got to make sure Jim is in tip-top shape for that. Come on, Jim. And in we go. Hmm. You used the medicine, yeah, you know what, I don't want to have used the medicine though. Oh, look at that. That's nice, it heals all the way. But that's not good enough. Well, the medicine does what I figured it would do, but we've got to keep that. The final boss probably does so much damage that you need the medicine to survive. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, ooh, what the f New music? <laughs> what is going on here? Alright. That, that must be the boss. Well, let's see how bad he is. He's got... I don't like his minions, first of all. Can we use magic on these things? Let's try flash. <laughs> Not turn. Yeah, flash. What does this do? Varilis. Huh? Varilis. Oh, I'll, I'll take the medicine. Let's see... Let's just ram into Varilis and see what happens. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Well, this is going to be fun. The final boss is as uh, harsh as everything else. I'm a bit surprised how fast, how little time it took me to get this far. I'm a bit surprised how quickly I made it to the end of this. I thought this would be really hard to finish, but I've made it. Ugh, what? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I run into Varilis and I'm instantly destroyed. Yeah, what? I mean, am I supposed to run into him by the, from the back? Oh, I see. I understand. I have to be in defense mode. Defense mode, that's it. Yeah, run into him while I'm in defense mode, see that? Because attack mode just hurts you too much. That's quite weird. Yeah, look at that. Half his health gone. We've got a chance now. I wonder if his health comes back if you leave the screen. It probably does. 
And the, the direction he shoots the fireballs is the direction he's facing, I assume. So we want to try and hit him from behind. Ah. Of course, his minions aren't going to make this easy. Let's get the... F Whoa, no! I didn't mean for that. Let's get the flash spell on. Ah, flash. It's so busy in this room, that's the problem. There's just so much stuff. You can't reasonably dodge all of these guys. Just gotta run away from them and then use flash when they get too close. That, yeah. Whew. Wait for them to come back again. Okay, well I can hang around here. <laughs> Look at them all. They're just playing Rig and Rig and Rosie now. I don't think they're coming out of that either. Well, hey, I'm not complaining. You just do that all you want, skeletons. Okay, let's go back up. Okay. <laughs> I think I just got to whittle him down slowly. Okay, I got to, I got to hit him a bit and then walk back here and just wait for it to refill. I think his health stays drained, so I've got a strategy at least. Okay, back up. Ah, oh, can we defeat him though? Maybe we can just take him out right now. Should have equipped Flash. There. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. I got wedged in between the wall and him. I thought I could walk down here, but no. He's in the way. Let's flash them all. I can't bear to see Jim's naked body. I don't know how he got all that armor off to do the flash. No wonder everyone dies immediately. Now. Let's get back to safety. I love I love how the skeletons are stuck like this. I don't think this was supposed to happen. I think you're supposed to have a hard time in this room, and you don't want to have to come back down here to heal. But uh, I've glitched the skeletons into doing a Rig and Rig and Rose dance. They're mesmerized now by this little dance. Which is fine by me. Okay. Well, let's finish them off. Come on, this is it. The final thing. The last hurrah of Hydelide. And that's it, yeah. Yeah, we did it. Ah, Wien! Jim Wien's! There's the three fairies. Whoever on earth Varalus was. Well, he was the big blue bat demon thing at the start. That was the bad guy, Varalus, and he's dead. And uh, the princess somehow returned back to being a princess again. That's the end. So he did a little badly animated bow. And we get congratulated. We even get a slightly different variation in the theme tune. Wow. Well, I guess there's more music in this game after all than just the theme tune then. The final boss theme and this.
Oh yeah, that does sound like the Indiana Jones theme. It really, really did just rip it off completely. <laughs> is that the end now? Yeah, it is. Back to the start. Back to the start again. Well, wow, wow, that was for all of the for as infamous as this game is. That was not as that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. There's a lot of there's a lot of grinding to be sure because the game is so small. There's so little. <laughs> there's such a small world to explore. You're forced to run around and fight things to level up. And it does take a while, but it doesn't take as long as Dragon Warrior. It doesn't take as long as it could take. I finished all of this in maybe two hours. That's really not that bad. For an old... I mean, it's bad. But for an old 80s... For a 1980s NES game, it's not that bad. The game is very short. When Even if you don't know what you're doing, like I did. I mean, like, well, like I didn't. It's, uh, it's still pretty short. Very cryptic puzzles and things, but it's not bad. It's just it's simple. It's not that horrendous. I enjoyed leveling up. What could I say? It's a bit ridiculous though. Pretty insanely cheap. <laughs> the final boss is just cheap. All these blindsiding enemies. But well, I enjoyed myself. I might not have enjoyed myself in 1989 if I was American, and I spent sixty dollars to buy this. <laughs> Might not have enjoyed that, but I've got a feeling that I would have been satisfied with this. I would child me. I wouldn't have known that my parents paid sixty dollars. I wouldn't know what that meant. I didn't know about mortgages or or life insurance plans or any any of that stuff. Bills, none of that. Well, that's this. So that's it for the end of the hydelite. We never did find out what hydelite means. I didn't have the enclosed instruction book. But you know what, maybe it's better that we don't know. Some things are just best left unknown. Such as... Bye.